Lemwith visiting with Marin Hart, who's running for the Lemwith Commission. Now, Marin, to begin with, why don't you just take maybe a minute or two and tell us just a little bit about your background and why you chose to run. Well, thank you, Tracy, for having me here. Thank you. Um, I chose to run because I was tired of seeing everything go, you know, all the memes on Facebook going by saying, oh, here's everything that's wrong, here's what's going bad, and why doesn't somebody do something? And I realized I needed to be somebody to stand up and do something. And it takes a lot of courage to stand up and do something like this. It does. And it sounds like you're being the answer to the, be the change. Well, I don't change you want to see in the world. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's time to step up and, and take back our, our country, one city at a time. Amen. Now, I know that um, I spent quite a bit of time in Leavenworth, and I've spent quite a bit of time talking to a lot of the citizens and some of the elected officials, and more often than not just the average citizens at some of the meetings I go to and you know some of the restaurants. <laughs> I love coming up to Leavenworth to eat. Everybody knows that. Um, matter of fact, we've even done shows mm -hmm. yeah. up here with restaurants because we love coming up here to eat. Now, one of the things I've noticed though is you've got some empty storefronts. Yes, we do. What are your thoughts on that and on what would what do you plan on doing about those? Well, what I would like to see is a more friendly atmosphere where there are fewer fees, fewer taxes, fewer regulations to make it a more business friendly environment. I think fewer you, you fees can, and regulations go a long way towards attracting businesses. Right. It, it's hard to start a business and the more cost that you put on it, the harder it is. And if you keep in, you know, giving incentives to big businesses and businesses that you like, mm -hmm. you're not going, you can't direct, you need to let the market set itself. You need to create an atmosphere where people want to come in instead of trying to buy people in, saying, come, 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 we'll give you this, we'll give you this if you come. You just need to make a good atmosphere and people will come. And big box stores are great. I mean, we, need, we need them for some things, but you know, I really like the mom and pop stores, and you guys have got a lot of mom and pop stores. We do. I like to walk the streets of Leavenworth mm -hmm. and the downtown area, and it sprawls a little more outside of downtown, and go to some of the sh shops, and we keep going back to this, eat in the restaurant. Well, I, you know, I eat my way through Leavenworth I, a lot. Can you guys tell? I eat my way through Leavenworth, too. <laughs> There's, a, there's great restaurants here, and we're blessed with that. Some great restaurants, and then a lot of mom and pop restaurants. I think right. almost every place I've eaten in Leavenworth, unless I've had a fast food restaurant coming and going quickly, has been a mom and pop. And yeah. even if it's a chain, it's a mom and pop chain with like three restaurants. Exactly. So we're really blessed with that. And we have a lot of great stores here. Yes. And we have room for a lot more great stores. We do. It's a pretty town, and, and I just love it here. It's got such a a warm feeling to it and just be just kick it up that that next level would be wonderful you've got the big city amenities right and the small town feel and right. you can't really walk down the streets without finding somebody you know right well that's that's another point there too we have we have the big city amenities with that small town feel yeah. but i do not want to see this town turn into another big city no we like the small town there, we like the small town aspect of it there is that push afloat to make this into a big city. But that wouldn't ring Leavenworth. Why would. Would you, why would you want to live here when you could just go across the river and live in Kansas City, Missouri if you want a big city? Exactly. Your Leavenworth has its own unique flavor, its own unique style. I've lived in multiple places all over the country, military towns included, when I was military, and this doesn't have the same type of vibe. This right. has its own unique vibe because mm -hmm. you've got the small town, You've got, you've got the military vibe, but it's not like just a military town. Right. But, well, you, but you feel the patriotism and the military in it. It's just completely different than any place I've been before. Exactly. And we don't want to lose that. You, you, you need to have be forward moving. But yeah. you need to look at ways to retain the feel and the culture, but still bring in mo what's modern. Right. But you can't, you can't live in the past. No. But you, you can build on the past. And you can you can encapsulate and use the past. 
and I know that um, walking down the streets, if you're especially if, if, if people are looking to build a smaller business and such, there's lots of small storefronts are still available. Mm -hmm. Not so that you know you're driving down and it's like vacant or anything, but you can drive through. There's still a few small spots, yeah. and we know there's quite a few spots for bigger businesses and mm -hmm. larger employers to come in. So you've got space for both. Here. Right, we do. Maybe there'll be restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I'm, I'm just gonna put it on. Easier. I know. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna plug some of my favorite restaurants. I'll no. do it all the time. Yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to miss one. I think they're all. In the I don't know. I think they're all my favorites. <laughs> I haven't eaten one I haven't yeah. liked yet. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, in addition to that, we know that Leavenworth had a really rough year. Yes. We started off with um, Leavenworth being one of the first cities, the first counties, in general. You were first city, right. but in general, the first counties to open up, and then all of a sudden, Leavenworth City mm -hmm. started cracking back down mask mandates, doing what, right. making their own decisions, and they had the um, the petition, mm -hmm. and they threw the petition out and didn't really even address the citizens who were upset. That doesn't sound like it really made a lot of citizens happy, and I've talked to a lot of people up here, and people have even grabbed me and Facebooked me, hey Tracy, can you do something on this? It's like, we have, Leavenworth ignored me, we watch Kansas too. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Which side were you on with the uh, heavy-handed government mandates? Well, I'm against heavy-handed government mandates. Um, government isn't here to tell people what to do. Government is here to be of service to the people. The, the government officials are elected by the people. They should do the will of the people. But it's okay if we ignore them. If we ignore their petitions, right? Don't. <laughs> yeah, so they like to do that, and I know there's a history of doing that too. So, but the government's there. If the government's there to serve you, the never mind. The, gov the government's. We'll let it go on that one. City, <laughs> city government should be here to do things like like infrastructure, to fix your roads, to provide police service, fire service, um, you know, pick up your trash, things like that. Yeah, the things that we you know, need. They're, the they're, things they should be for. Right. They shouldn't be here to tell you what to do in your own yard, your own house, on your own street, in your own business. That's that's not what government should be here to do. So what would a government under you look like? It would be a much more person friendly and business friendly environment. It would be a lot more freedom. Freedom of, for individuals to choose how they want to run their lives, how they want to run their businesses. Now, I've been here for a while, and nothing I'm hearing is anything new. These are things, these are conversations we've had. This isn't something you're saying because you're running for an office. These are conversations we've been having for a long time. That's right. You know, and that's, again, that's why I stood up and said I wanted to run for office. That's because what you do. You I, can have, I can have a conversation with people, and nothing happens. It's crickets, crickets, crickets. But you, you, you've got to go out there and put yourself out. I never thought I'd be a politician, but it's going to be the only way to do it, to do less by becoming a politician. Now, I think that I've talked to a lot of people lately, and I think the big thing is be the change, like you're talking about. I think the big thing is people are tired of big government, and people are tired of government as usual, and they're demanding change. Now, I've never had a problem reaching out to you or getting a hold of you. We no. keep running into each other. I can't, I, right. there's no way <laughs> yeah. to not. But now for the people that don't get to run into you a few times a month, right. why don't you go ahead and let Kansas know how to get a hold of you? Okay, well you can reach me on my cell phone at 785-559-0387. And you can email me at marinhart7, that's M-A-R-E-N-H-A-R-T-7, at gmail.com. Now, I know there's three things that Mara needs from everybody watching right now. If you're in her district, she needs your vote. Regardless of whether or not you're in her district, if you believe in her mission, she needs your financial assistance. Campaigns are expensive. T-shirts, both for her to wear and more importantly for her people to wear when they go knock on doors, are expensive. Campaign signs are expensive. 
mailers are outrageous. We've all mailed postcards to somebody recently, I'm sure. Um, and then she also needs help with her campaign. Just little things like walking up and down the street, knocking on a door and talking to your neighbors are huge in a campaign. So please reach out to her with one of those three or all of them. And in the meantime, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tracy. And watch Kansas. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Me too.